What's going on everybody? It's Akil here and welcome to another video. Today I got a full home core workout for y'all. Uh, follow along if you would like. We don't need any weights, but if you want to make this workout even harder, go ahead and grab some uh, regular weights at home or do some makeshift weights, alternative weights. Totally fine. Let's get this thing going. We're going to be on the floor for our first movement, so let's get it going. If you want to modify, please do. There's always going to be some kind of modification. Slow that pace down if you want to, okay? Now, first movement of the day. We're going to be in a plank position, just like this. All right, and then I want you to drive those hips up and tap your knee, tap, come back down, tap, and back down, okay? Nice old plank pike right here. Nice deep breath for me. Three, two, one, and positions. Let's go. Squeeze, tap. Pushing your belly button towards your spine here. Exhale. Exhale. My shoulders are above my hands here, okay? Driving those hips up as high as you can. Don't forget to breathe. We're almost through. Stay on it for me. And relax. Whew. Our next movement of this workout is going to be an oblique movement, okay? Working right here. Let's come on down to the ground. Hands behind the head for support. Just like that. And then I want you to drive that elbow in towards the knee. I want you to, <coughs> excuse me, drive the knee in really good. Focus on squeezing the core, just like this. And back out if you wanna make it harder. Both legs are up in the air. Squeeze, back out, squeeze, back out, okay? Three, we're gonna alternate. Two, one, and let's go. Nice and controlled here. We're focusing on the contraction of the obliques. Exhaling every single time that knee goes in. It's not about speed here, y'all. Hands are behind the head for a little bit of support so your neck doesn't hurt. We are almost done. Nice deep breath. Two, one, and relax. Whew. All right, my third movement is gonna spike up the heart rate just a little bit, okay? So plant position once again, come on down to the floor. I want you to jump in towards, excuse me, jump your feet in towards your hands and the knees are gonna go in between your elbows, okay? Just like this, squeeze, back out, squeeze, back out, squeeze, back out. Deep breath, five, four, three, two, one, and let's go. Squeeze, out. Exhale, out, squeeze, out, exhale, out, keep it up. I'm grabbing the floor with my hands here. Come on guys, we're almost through. And two, one, relax. Woo. How we feeling? Pretty good? Alrighty, give me a nice deep breath. Get a quick sip of water if you want to, and then we're going back to that first movement, y'all. <sighs> Happy Monday. <laughs> or is it Tuesday? What day is it? I don't know. All right, guys, into position for me. We're going back to that first movement, those push-up planks, or sorry, those plank planks. Three, two, one, let's go. Tap, back down, tap, back down. Focusing on that tightness of the core as your knee, as your elbows go up. We're almost there guys, we're almost there. Stay on it for me. I want you to bring that energy, make sure you're well hydrated throughout this workout and relax. Woo. How we feeling? Not bad, minimal rest in between these three exercises, okay? Get into position for me. Hands behind the head for a little bit of extra support. And two, one, let's go. Focus on squeezing those obliques. Knees are getting close to the elbows here. Almost through. Stay on it for me. Stay on it. You can push through here. Three, two, one, drop it down. 
Whew. Feeling that really good. Flip over for me, y'all. Nice deep breath, minimal rest once again. You get your break right after this third movement. Positions, three, two, one, and let's go. Knees going in, between those elbows. Exhale, exhale, come on. If you wanna slow it down, you can, but keep it going. Almost through. Squeeze in the core. Squeeze in the core. Three, two, one, and relax. Ooh. Slip there for a second. Now it's when you get a longer break. Drink some water if you want. Nice deep breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Y'all rest up, and then we're gonna go to our next format. Sorry, our next format. Our next circuit here. The so time on and time off will be different for this portion. It's gonna be 20 seconds on for each exercise, okay? Before, we were 30, 30, and 30. Now it's gonna be 20, 20, 20. Whew. All right. Now, for our next exercise, we're gonna be down on the floor in a supinated position. I want you guys to put your hands together there's the bit. <laughs> I can't even talk anymore. Hands together just like this. I want you to put your hands down above your groin area. We're gonna push the fingertips past the knees, your elbows, sorry, your elbows. Your head comes off the ground slightly just a little bit here, okay? So we're not focusing on swinging or anything like that. I want you to focus on squeezing the core every single time. Fingertips go past the knees. Squeeze, back out, squeeze, back out, just like that, okay? If you wanna make this harder, grab some weight, put it in your hands right here, but same position, same movement. Squeeze and back out. Deep breath, three, two, one, and let's go. We're holding that peak position for about one to two seconds. Hold one, two, back down, hold one, two, Back down, just like that, keep it up, keep it up. If you have some weights, this will be much more difficult because I do want your hand position to be right here, not up here, okay? Keep it going. We're almost through with this movement, and relax. Flip over for me, we're working on the obliques once again here, okay? On the elbows, get into that plank position, shoulders are above the elbows, we're going into hip dips here. Push your belly button towards your spine, and we're going from side to side. Nice and controlled once again. Don't worry about speed. Two, one, let's go. Squeeze down, just like this. Shift at least this movement in your obliques. So don't forget to breathe. We're almost through. Stay on it. I know you got plenty of energy left in that tank, and relax. We got one more movement, y'all. Spiking that heart right here, okay? Plank positions, all right? This time we're gonna be on our hands. Hands and feet position. I want you guys to jump out and back in, out and back in, out, in, out, in. Three, two, one, let's go. Exhale, 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 just like this. Slow down the pace if you want to, but keep it up. Shoulders are above the hands. And relax. How we feeling? Not bad? Good. Now flip on over once again for me. Pronated position, sorry, supinated position on our backs. Give me a nice deep breath. This is our longer rest time here. Drive those knees a little bit further than shoulder width apart so we're not too close in. A little bit further out. Core is nice and tight. Hands up, and let's go. Squeeze in the core every time, right? Focus on that core activation, not about speed. No swing in here. I don't want to see anybody swing in here. And relax. Ooh. Flip on over for me, y'all. Nice deep breath into positions in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. 
you can keep your hips low, please do. If you can't, this is okay. But I still want you to spike that heart rate up here. Okay, come on. And relax. Woo. Good job, y'all, good job. That was our second circuit. Our next circuit is only gonna be 15 seconds each, okay? This time we are gonna need a weight. If you wanna do it with body weight, that's totally fine. But get your rest, grab your weight, right after that, if you're gonna use it. Now, it does not matter what weight we have, we're always focusing on that core contraction, okay? If you slow it down even more, you'll feel it even better. If you close your eyes and visualize your core working, you'll feel it even better as well. So, we're gonna be on our backs for this first movement, y'all, okay? I want y'all to have your hands just like this, arms out to the side. If you're doing it with body weight, same thing, just like this, or the arms out to the side, okay? Now, I'll tell y'all when to switch. Nice deep breath for me. We're gonna do 15 seconds per side. Have your feet in, and then we're gonna push up with the weight slightly, or our hands slightly, the core will do the rest of the work, okay? I want the core to do 90% of the work. Your arm is just gonna push slightly. Core is tight, push up, and squeeze. Back down, up, squeeze, and back down. Five, four, three, two, positions, one, and let's go. Back down, back down, come on. Keep it up for me. Oops, <laughs> give me one more, one more. And drop it back down. Core is nice and tight. We're switching in three, two, one, and let's go. Core is tight. Come on. Core is doing the work here. Almost through, one more. And relax. How we feeling? We only have one round of these two exercises, okay? So don't worry about it. If you're dying, you keep going, okay? Now I want you to interlock, or lock your, finger, your toes in, just like that. Hands are gonna be on the dumbbells. If not, body weight is fine, just like this. We're focusing. Our lead for this movement is gonna be the elbows, okay? Head will follow the elbow. My head's gonna follow the right elbow as I turn this way, and turn this way. Head is still following the elbow here. Hold the weight. Lean slightly back, even if you're doing body weight. Elbows moving from side to side. Follow the elbow, follow the elbow. Okay, three, two, lean slightly back, and let's go. Come on. And relax. All right, y'all. So I know we only had one round of those two movements that we just did, but that's okay. We do have a finisher, okay? The finisher is gonna be with the weight or without the weight. Sorry, I just put that away. Grab that once again. Once again, y'all, if I don't make any sense, it's because I'm dying. <laughs> now, I want y'all to be on the floor for this one, and then we're gonna flip over right away, okay? Two more movements. This is our finisher for the day. So come on down to the ground. Actually, I'll give y'all a little bit of rest here. I just thought about that. A little bit of rest, I'll give you another 15 seconds and then we're gonna get it going. So if y'all have any other things you wanna see in the workouts, this is a full core one. I did this workout right after my push session, which is about uh, chest, shoulders, and triceps. Um, if you wanna see anything specific, please let me know. Y'all have been e emailing me a lot, so that's why I'm giving you guys this core workout right now. So, nice deep breath for me, y'all. Let's get into positions, yeah! All right, this time we're gonna put our elbows, sorry, our elbows, our, <laughs> our weight on our hands, just like this, same exact thing, but the weight will be keep <laughs> All right, guys, at that time of the day, I don't make any sense anymore, man, apparently so, but the weight will go over our knees here. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all without the weight first, holding the weight right here, come up, 
squeeze, and back down. We're gonna make an arc with the weight or our hands, same thing. The hands will be right here no matter what. Come up, squeeze, back down. Lead, knees are in a 90 degree position. Squeeze, back down, squeeze, back down, squeeze, back down. All right, nice deep breath for me. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Three, two, one, let's go. Stay on it, y'all. Focus on squeezing that core. Keep it up. We are almost through, guys. Almost through. And relax. Drop that down. Now, I want you guys to get into a push-up position. Okay, push-up position once again. I want you to drive your knees in towards your side as hard as you can but controlled, okay? Plank position, drive the knee in, same side the entire time. Squeeze out, squeeze out, squeeze out. Just like that. Three, two, one, and go. Come on. Stabilizing the core here. Just a quick tap, and back down. We're gonna switch soon in three, two, one. Now switch it, let's go. Final movement of the day. Once you're done with this, it is over. Then you can get rid of me. <laughs> and relax. That is it for the day, y'all. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that workout. That's all I got for y'all. Please don't forget to cool down after your workouts. Warm up before, do the workout, and then cool down. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. If you have any questions, send me a, another email. If you guys have done that already, please and thank you, man. Uh, I've been loving to see the input. Uh, sorry, I've been loving all the input y'all are giving me. Sorry, I don't make any sense. I need some more caffeine. Uh, and if y'all are curious about why I don't make any sense at this point, it's because I typically do my full heavy, heavy workouts beforehand, and those last typically about an hour and a half. Uh, today's was a push day. I had chest, shoulders, and triceps. But hopefully y'all enjoyed. This is my extra core work for the day. I'll see you on the next one. All right, all right, that was the workout for the day, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you have any questions, once again, keep sending me those emails. I love seeing that feedback, and that's how I find out what you guys want in the next video. Uh, you know, I'm only doing this because I love y'all, I love my clients, and I know these are tough times, and this is just basically motivation for y'all to do something if you can't find that motivation, because you know, I, I know I don't every single day. I'm tired, I'm exhausted, and if I need to find some kind of motivation, I'll try to find it online, through a video, through some music, through a podcast, through something, right? Because uh, nobody's going to ever be motivated every single day, right? you got to find that motivation for yourself, and that's why I do this. Um, that's another workout for y'all. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.